a DIY cargo shorts with six pack. So, let's do it. So, before we proceed, I have a brief overview with the cargo packet. This is a packet which has the capacity to expand if there is a need. This expandability is contained in its design like tacks, folds, slits, and gathers. This packet with a flap is usually seen in pants or shorts. To construct the DIY cargo shirts, these are the materials that we need. Tape measure, scissor, pins, trimmer, carter, fabric, ruler, tailor's chop, thread. To draft the front and back pattern, you can use these steps and illustration. So these are now the complete sets of patterns that we need to construct a DIY cargo shirt. Two pieces of patch packet for the back side. Two pieces of cargo pack. Two pieces of slash pack. Twist band. Front and back pattern. Don't forget to mark all the construction lines. Then turn over the wrong side to right side. Then top stitch. Sew the sides of the cargo. Overlap the edge of patch and cargo pack. Measure 2 inches to the waist and 5 and a half inches to the side. Then mark. Cut diagonally with your slash pocket pad. Sew the line. Clip the edge. Top stitch using white thread. This is for the slash packet that can be seen in the front. It starts from the waist diagonally from the side. I use patch packet with a flap in the back. Use white thread when you top stitch so it looks nice and used to design the garment. Ah! 
to the side. Overlock the edge. Tap stitch twice. Sew the cargo pocket in the center of front and back. Sew the flap. Then tap stitch. Join the crotch and overlock the edge. Overlock the bottom, then top stitch. Join the garter KC and the garter. So let's take a quick snap for the finished product. 